Welcome to Jen's Daily Dish. Today we're going to be making food processor style French bread. So this can be made in one day versus having the whole overnight thing that you gotta do. Cardinal rule, read the directions first. Let's get started. This recipe looks a little bit tricky, but I'm trying to make sense of it. Because I cut the recipe in half, I have a quarter cup of water, which it asks for it to be specifically 110 to 115 degrees. So let's see what this is. 112. That's great. We're going to take it. It's asking me to add in the sugar and the yeast, of which this is half a teaspoon of sugar and three quarters a tablespoon of yeast. It's a lot of yeast. They're both going in. It's party time. Mix it together and let this sit for about five minutes. It's gonna get nice and bubbly. Be sure to get all of it off of the spoon. While the water, sugar, and yeast are having a party, we can go ahead and add the flour in. Add in the salt, a teaspoon of salt. Again, cut the recipe in half. This was three cups of flour. We're gonna pulse this just a little bit to get it mixed up. Flour, yeast, and sugar had a party, quite a party. They're ready to go. This is where I go off the recipe because it is telling me to add this mixture into the Cuisinart, the food processor, while it's running. I don't know about you, but if I try to add it in through here, a bunch of it's gonna get stuck on here. It's gonna be a mess, so I'm gonna cheat. I made a mistake because I added the yeast and started pulsating it without the water, so I quickly added the water in. That's been in there, and I'm supposed to pulse it seven or eight times until it starts to pull together into a ball. which it is clearly doing. So at this point, I think we are ready and let's see how the dough feels. The dough is very sticky, but maybe it's supposed to be that way. Um, usually the dough that I've worked with isn't as sticky, but we're gonna go with it. We're going to let it knead for 60 seconds more, which is said explicitly in the directions. It's even like highlighted. So we're gonna count to 60. It's done kneading. We're gonna take it out and then it's asking me to knead it for three to four minutes by hand. So I can tell the dough is a little bit wet. I'm gonna put some flour down. The recipe does not call for this, but against my better judgment or maybe with my better judgment, I'm gonna do it anyway. Kneading dough can actually be a stress reliever, I have found, so feel free to enjoy it. And this dough is actually warm, so it's very comforting. Four minutes has gone by, the dough feels great. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the bowl and grease it a little bit. It says to grease it on all sides. Or to grease the top, which it is. Cover for an hour. All right, this has been sitting for an hour. It has gotten quite puffy. It is ready for the next step. And because I divided the recipe in half, I'm gonna divide this into two equal pieces. The silicone mat will help me figure out what dimensions I need this at. Let's make a guesstimate. Put one half here. The other half, it says to roll it out into a 15 inch by eight inch oval. That sounds tricky to me, but we're gonna give it a go. So here we have our dimensions for the eight inches and the 15. So we're gonna work within that. So I'm just gonna start by pulling it out a bit. Our eight inch marker is right here, goes to there, okay? And I can clearly see the 15. So I'm gonna roll this out into a bit of an oval. This 
This looks like more of a square, so we're gonna have to fix this. All right, you can tell this is by no means a perfect oval at all, but we're gonna work with it. And so now what I do is I start at the long end and I'm gonna roll it up. It will be a little bit wider in the center and the ends I'm gonna pinch closed. Place seam side down on the baking sheet. And we'll do the other one. Second one's done. I think it looks a little bit better than the first one, but that's gonna be just okay. So then we were going to cover with a, an already greased piece of plastic wrap, which I greased with a little bit of oil and paper towel. Let's set the clock for 45 minutes. The loaves have puffed up a lot, but you'll see um, this one looks a little bit better than this one. But that's okay, because it's all gonna taste the same. Now what I'm gonna do is slash them diagonally, and I bought this thing called a lame, it's like a razor blade, could use a sharp knife too. I'm gonna cut them diagonally three times, it says a quarter of an inch, let's give this a go. I am no expert here. One, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, two. There we go. Okay, we're gonna see how that works out. Now comes the egg wash. One egg with a tablespoon of cool water and it says to just do this lightly. The oven is heated to 425 degrees and I'm not gonna forget to put the ice water in this metal pan I have at the bottom. It allows steam around the bread, which creates a crust. So if you want crusty bread, Put a pan in the bottom of your oven, you'll see. The idea is to be quick. The steam doesn't escape. 20 minutes on the clock. I kept it on for a little longer, but I think they are nice and golden brown and I am taking them out. You'll notice these little pieces here because of how I slashed it. I guess maybe I could have slashed them a little bit differently, but as I said, I'm still learning. Let's give it a try. It's crusty. You can see it's crusty on the outside. It's doughy on the inside. Now let's give this a taste. Good French bread, straight out of the oven. If I can make this, you can too, really and truly. Give it a try. If you enjoyed this lesson on how to make this French bread, go ahead and subscribe and would love for you to share it. And feel free to leave some comments as well. Today, we're going to be making French. <laughs> so this is right after I added the yeast, right? 